Senpai, please don't forget about us. Sorry, gotta run. Take care, everyone. Aww. Inaba! Sorry for the wait. Let's go. Here ought to do. All right. I've been waiting a long time to beat your face in, Hase. Likewise, I've always wanted to duke it out with you, Inaba. Don't be sore. Ugh. That's smart. You really didn't pull any punches, Hase. My mouth tastes like blood. It was your idea in the first place. Well, it's a good way to commemorate our graduation. I always wanted to try something like this. Congrats on getting into Johto Inaba. Back at you. It's just like you to be head of the class at the prestigious prep school. You're pretty amazing, Hase. You practically have a spot reserved for you at Tokyo, you know. This is your first step toward becoming a super elite businessman. I could say the same to you. Wasn't it your dream to go to a high school with a dorm? Yeah. I'm gonna give it my all. I learned all sorts of things about computers and bookkeeping at vocational school. And once I graduate, I'll be fully equipped to hit the job front as a businessman. Since I'll be graduating before you, that means you'll be my junior in the workplace. Heh. <laughs> Hey, Inaba! You sure you'll be okay? Of course! This spring, I, Yushi Inaba, made it into Johto Vocational High School. In spring of my first year of middle school, both my parents died in a car accident. What happened after that is nothing unusual. I was taken in by my uncle's family. Since my family was a modest white-collar household, there wasn't any sort of inheritance left for me. It can't have been easy for my aunt and uncle to have a sudden addition to the family. Besides that, my one-year-older cousin Eriko was way more opposed to me moving in than I anticipated. And now, three years later, I've managed to get into the vocational high school of my dreams, and I'll be moving into the dorm! That's right, I can move out at last! A fire broke out at the student dorm of Johto Vocational High School earlier today, which left the building completely destroyed. Huh? Destroyed? What? The school called and said it'll take over six months to rebuild the dorm. Oh dear, thank goodness it happened before you moved in. Y yeah but I... my moving plans. So... What are you going to do now? What do you mean? It can't be helped. I guess he can commute from home? I suppose so. No! I'll figure something out! A student? And you're looking for a room in the middle of March? 
Let's see, you have a budget of, huh? 20 to 30,000 yen? Ha ha ha! Phew! Now that's a tough one. Would you care to look at the market prices? The cheapest you'll find is 50,000. Never mind, thank you. Ah, we're not renting out anymore. Shoo, shoo! Besides, you won't find a place at that price. And your guarantor is? You don't have parents? You're a minor, aren't you? I suggest you keep living with your uncle's family. Can't be helped in your situation. <laughs> I'm an underage student with no parents. And no money. They tell me it can't be helped. But is there really nothing I can do? You sure you'll be okay, Inaba? Hase, how could this happen? In the end, I'm still just a powerless kid, at the mercy of others, with no way out. Damn it! Hey, mister, are you looking for a place to live? Huh? You want to rent a room, right? I know a really good place to look. Go to that store over there. I'm sure you'll find somewhere to live. Hmm, Maeda, realty? Er... Huh? Hmm... Hmm... Welcome. Hmm... Um... Are you one of the Jodo students? What a tragedy. I hear the whole place burned down. Hmm. Phew. Yes. Hmm. And that's why you want to move out? Sounds like you've got it rough. Yeah. Hmm. I've got a place that's a 10 minute walk from Takanodai Higashi Station. It's a south facing 106 square foot Japanese style room, with a 35 square foot living room. Hmm? The bathroom and shower are shared, meals included. The rent is 25,000, utilities included. How does that sound? Seriously? Yup, really. Wait. Isn't this... a little too good to be true? By any chance, is this place shady? Actually, yes. I knew it. They appear. Catch my drift? What? Appear? You mean... ghosts? Seriously? Who knows? I wonder. <laughs> I know! How about this? I actually have a room in the apartment I use as storage. Would you be interested in renting it? I'll drop the deposit. Really? Are you sure? 
You just need a place to live until the dorm is rebuilt, right? I don't think it's a bad deal. Hmm. I can move out of my uncle's house. Th thank you so much. Welcome to Kotobuki Manor. Has a modern feel, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah. What year was this place built? Is this all your stuff? Sorry to rush in like this. I have to apologize to your uncle. Oh no, it's all right, really. You don't. In the end. Hmm. Erika never came outside. Have to worry about them. This is the key to room 202. From now on, it's your room. My own room. Whoa! Use any furniture you'd like. Are the bookshelves and books okay to keep in here? Absolutely! Ah! This is one of Reimi Ishiki's. I have this same book, Maeda-san. Oh? You read Ishiki Nabakun? You have some refined tastes. Yes! I got hooked after my friend Hase lent me some of his books. His writing seems grotesque at first, but it actually has a cultured aesthetic to it. You wouldn't guess it looking at his picture. The way his face and writing don't match up. Is so surreal. Hmm. Ha! Huh. Reime! Ishiki? I thought it seemed lively. Are you a new resident? Ishiki Sensei? The real deal? Yep, in the flesh. Long time no see, Maeda san. Hey there, Ishiki-san. Huh? Wait! Do you live here too, Ishiki-sensei? Uh-huh. I've been here for 10 years now, and I'm one of the newer faces. I is that so? Wow. This is going to be my room from now on. And on top of that, I get to live under the same roof as one of my favorite authors. Isn't that great, Inaba-kun? Yes! It's an honor to meet you. Ishiki-san! Is the new guy here? Yes, Akine-chan. Hey, my name's Akine Kuga. Nice to meet you. Uh, Akine-san? Yep, this is Akine Kuga from room 204. She's a second year at Takanodai High and is living on her own like you, Yushikun. Huh? On her own? A girl your age? Aren't you lonely? No way! Living here is a blast! I hope you like it here too, Yushikun! First name basis. Alrighty, I'll help you unpack. This is all your stuff? You sure live lightly. Ah! You don't have to! That's actually... How bold! Oh! I see. So your parents passed away? You must be lonely. Nah, it's already been three years. I'm not that lonely. Really? Yeah. Ah, uh, Akine-san? There's no need to rush to grow up, you know. Uh, sure. For some reason, Akine-san... Reminds me of Hase. I feel like I can talk to her about anything. I made tea! Ooh, Sakura Mochi? I've never met a girl like her before. Looks like you've all but settled in. Yes, thanks for the help! I wanted to introduce you to the others. 
but it looks like they're all out at the moment. Well, I'm sure you'll meet them eventually. I see. No need to worry, Yushikun. Everyone's really nice. Uh-huh. Akine-chan might even be the scariest person here. Hey now, don't make me angry, Ishiki-san. I'm not that worried. Just looking at these two. I'm just kidding. Want one? You bet I do. I get a sense of what it's like living here. I'm sure everything will be fine. I'm really glad I came here. Yushikun! Dinner's ready! There's a cafeteria downstairs, come on! Oh, sure! That's right, meals are included with the rent here. I wonder what's on the menu. Hmm? <laughs> hmm? Footprints? Hmm? What's that noise? Is someone here? Hmm, they're playing mahjong. How long have they been there? They're playing in the dark. Over here, Yushikun! Hey, Yushikun. Apparently, tonight's your welcoming dinner. Yay! Ririko-san's the best! Whoa, I didn't think free meals would be this extravagant. Th this is delicious! I know, right? Ririko-san is a brilliant cook. She always serves up meals hot and fresh. Ririko-san? It's pretty dark in there. Is it really safe to cook like that? Huh? What? Ooh. Nom nom nom. Huh? Everyone's come down to eat. Who could resist the smell? Hmm? <laughs> Hmm? I'm so full. That was great, huh? Yeah, yeah. S say, Akine-san. Hmm? Were all those people in the cafeteria residents here? Hmm, most of them are just from the area. This place is kind of a hangout for the neighborhood. Hang out? Ah! Look at the time! I've gotta run, Yushikun! What? Where to? My job! I work the night shift at the hospital! Huh? You're leaving now? Take it easy! I'm off! Uh, Akine-san! How exactly am I supposed to take it easy? Like this? I'll just go back to the cafeteria. I don't really want to be alone right now. Wait, what's going on? Just a minute ago, there were so many people here. The Mahjong players, that's right. I'll ask them! Ex excuse me! Huh. Hmm. 
Yushi kun. Ah! Why so startled? I Ishigi san! N no reason. Let's hit the bath. The underground bath here is out of this world. Ah, uh, a bath? Sh sure. Let's go. This is below the apartment, right? Ah, uh, this is the life. Um, Ishiki-san? I'm curious about something. Hmm? This apartment is kinda... strange, isn't it? Well, yeah. This is the yokai apartment, after all. Didn't Maeda-san tell you that ghosts appear here? Yo-kai? Isn't that right, landlord? It was just a dream. A weird one at that. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Ichigi san! Morning, Yushi kun. Last night! What was that? Yep. Were you surprised? Surprised? Uh, you mean... I'll help you pack if you want to go back home. Wait, then... This place really is... A yokai apartment? Hmm... Whee! I'm home! Welcome back, Akine-chan. Oh, Yushikun, how did it go last night? I'm starving. I need to get some breakfast in me. Uh, Akine san! Behind you! Huh? Whoa! What the hell? Akine san! It's dangerous! Run! Don't tell me. She's so scared she can't move. <laughs> Damn it! Akine san! It disappeared? Uh, Akine-san! What the hell was that? An evil spirit. Oh, an evil spirit, huh? Wait, what? He kept staring at me by the crosswalk in front of the station. I just ignored him, but I guess he got attached to me. He stalked girls during life, too. I guess dying didn't change his ways. So I purged him. Purge? Just who are you, Akine-san? Did I forget to mention? I'm an exorcist. An exorcist? Someone who takes care of troublesome spirits. This world truly is a treasure trove of wonder. 
There are so many intriguing people and happenings. So Yushikun, what will you do? In an odd turn of events, it would appear this place truly is a community of humans and specters. Its name, Yokai Apartment. Yushi Naba, a first year in high school. His dream to become an independent working adult. And the first step towards which seems to have taken him to a place most bizarre. Ah, using my power really works up an appetite. Feeding time! I wonder what's on the menu this morning. <laughs> 